All right, so we still have some work to do on our register mutation, but before we go too much farther playing with it, I wanna set up kind of like a module system or break out our code into what people refer as as features. So right now we have a, a file called resolvers and a file called schema. And this is nice, it's simple, but the problem gets when you have a lot of resolvers and your schema grows, it gets really big in this one file. So a nice way to do it is to break it up between basically the different resolvers. So for example, I have a register resolver. So I wanna split this into basically its own little folder where I have a register folder where I have the tests for the register, I have the resolvers for the register, and I have the schema for the register. And to help us out with this, we are gonna be doing some schema stitching. So this is something from GraphQL tools and it works really nice. So here's like a little demo of it. Um, you'll basically have a schema that looks like that and a schema that looks like that. And then you can call merge schemas and combine them into one uh, thing. So that's what we're gonna be doing. So let's go ahead and get started. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a folder um, called modules and basically all my modules are going to go in there so the first one is I'm going to create a register module and I'm also going to create a temp module um, the temp module is just so we can make sure this works um, and I'm going to put the hello query in there so okay let's start off with register um, I can go ahead and I'm going to create a file called resolvers.ts and inside of that, I am going to copy all the code we have here, paste it into resolvers. And now I'm gonna get rid of the query um, because we only wanna have the register mutation. And now we change the path of those things. So we're gonna have to re-import them and re-import user. Okay. So that's our resolver. We're also gonna create a schema.graphql for it and I'm going to just copy in just register. All right, perfect. So we're pretty much done for this register file. Um, now I'm now going to create the one for temp, so resolvers.ts. And again, we can just copy what we have here. And then here we're just going to get rid of the mutation and only keep the query. And we have to re-import stuff. and then also add a schema to GraphQL. And then for this, we're just going to copy just the query. All right, so we now just basically cut everything in half, right? So we put the resolvers, um, the mutation resolvers over here, and the query resolvers over here. Um, that's not necessarily the way we split it. We might have also some mutations over here and some queries over here. It just so happened that we had hello and um, register. We're really just splitting that type sort of thing. But you can really split this up however uh, you'd want to, right? Um, but this makes sense. And then we have, what's gonna happen is it's gonna push these all together um, or merge them all together. So let's, let's do that. Um, so in our start server now, instead of just like importing a single schema.graphql, what we want to do is basically um, grab it from modules. Now there's a couple different ways we could do this. One of them involves just like importing for each module. But what I want to kind of set up is kind of like an automated way. So for each folder, um, I automatically import it. Um, I thought that'd be pretty nice. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm just going to import um, file system from node. And the first thing that we're going to do, so we need to create a um, array of schemas. And um, the way we're gonna do that is by looping through the modules. So I'm gonna get all the folders. So const folders is equal to fs.readsync. And we are going to say here, path.join, pass in our directory name, and then modules. So what that will do will give us all the folder names. So it'll say register and temp. So after that, we are just gonna say folders.foreach. So we're gonna loop through each folder. And 
here we're going to basically get the resolvers which we're going to require and so we're going to do dot slash modules and we can make this a template slash our folder slash resolvers so that'll import our resolvers and then we also want to import our type defs right and our type defs is just the schema in that folder um, and we can use import schema again from GraphQL import and we're going to get the path and then we're going to say dot slash modules slash the folder again and I'm going to make this a string template again okay so now I have the resolvers and the type defs for this uh, folder or this module if you will and what we're going to do is we're going to push this onto schemas um, so I'm going to say schemas.push and here is where we need to actually um, add a library so we need to add GraphQL tools um, oh, yarn add GraphQL tools and then after that is done we can import from GraphQL tools and what we want here is two things the uh, merge schemas and the create um, for me it's called make yep make executable schema so we're going to call make executable schema passing in the resolvers and the type defs so basically what we're doing is we're creating a schema um, for each folder or for each module using its resolvers and its type defs and then we're going to basically have all our schemas right here and so um, it's getting mad at us because we don't have the type of this so let's what I like to do is f to figure out th these like sort of types is uh, I hover over make executable schema and I'll just like peek the definition and when I look at this guy I can scroll to the very end and see that it outputs a type of GraphQL schema so really what I want right here is an array of GraphQL schemas. GraphQL schema and an array of it. And this is mad at us probably because we have not actually installed GraphQL. So it's not listed as a dependency. We can just add that. So yarn add GraphQL and that error should go away. All right, let's see what it's um, mad about here. So it's because we have some shadow names. So we can get rid of resolvers and type defs there because we're not doing that anymore. So then when we pass to our GraphQL server now, instead of passing type defs and resolver, we can actually return a schema. And the schema we're going to pass it is the merged schema. So merge schemas, passing in all of our schemas like that. And cool. And that's it. So just let's go through the code one more time. Um, we're basically keeping a list of all of the schemas that exist. We're looping through the modules folder. Um, we're getting here all the folders and we're looping through each folder. So starting with register, we are importing the resolvers. So we're importing these guys right here. And then we also import the GraphQL right here. Um, and then after that, we make it a executable schema by merging those two together not really merging but using the resolvers and the type defs creating a schema and then we do that for each folder so temp as well and then we um, add it to our schemas and then at the very end we just merge them all together okay cool and also the idea with this so we have that merged and all that let's run the code real quick and then I'll talk about tests so yarn start and we'll see if uh, all this code works and cool looks like it did start up let's go over to playground over here i'm just going to refresh and if i click on schema over here i see hello and i see register so i can say hello and it does go ahead and recognize it um, we can also run register if we want to mutation register and we'll see if that works password and okay root query root query root type um, must be provided 
Okay, so I did some research on this error and it doesn't seem like it's something we messed up, um, but it looks like there's just a bug in GraphQL tools. So here's the pull request. Um, and basically it just has trouble merging the schema whenever there is not a query specified. Um, now this pull request is closed and should be fixed, um, but a dude at the very bottom is having the last or the very same problem we're having even after this pull request. Um, and this was four days ago where it says query root must be provided and he's doing the exact same thing we're doing where we didn't add a query. So I think what we can do for now to get this to work is we could specify just a dummy query. So type query and we could say by which is a string and we could pass a uh, query in here. Oops. And we could say by. So we could do that and we'll just restart and hopefully it should work now. Um, but hopefully the bug should be fixed soon. Um, if you guys know any other workarounds or have experienced this, please leave a comment below um, and we can fix this. But for now, I think I guess that's what we'll do. Um, we can go ahead and run this and it goes ahead and registers stuff perfectly. So it doesn't look like we like messed stuff up, at least with uh, our logic over here just something with that. Okay, so lastly, um, I wanna talk about testing. So I had like this folder over here called tests. Um, now that I have basically set up a folder for register, I can just remove my tests into register. Um, I might have to, yeah, oops, get rid of both those guys here. And we'll go ahead and re-import to like fix that and fix that and so we're gonna basically keep the tests in the same folder as um, the feature or the module so now I don't need this constants I can just kill it oops and I think we're good to go so as we expand in this project what we're gonna do is in modules we'll create a new folder for each um, basically new feature or new chunk of code that we want to write and then we'll write a resolvers a schema and then also test it as well and then this will scale well as we have a lot of different things that we add on so now we can delete resolvers and we can delete this outer schema as well because we won't be needing that now this does provide a small problem in you can get rid of yarn air um, it does add a small problem with our dude over here let me see if I can find him here he is our generate schema types where we um, just ran gq2s source schema we now don't have a central schema so before we can generate the types we're gonna have to um, basically kind of copy some of the code over here um, to merge the schemas and then run the type on that we'll worry about that in a future video though and uh, I want to just run tests real quick and make sure those still work though. So I'm just going to do yarn tests and uh, hopefully it should be able to find and yep it did find the register test and should run and should still work. Um, and perfect it does. So that's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching.